good morning lovely people and welcome back so today i decided to create a very springy summery kind of look a very colorful liner and it's something very easy i feel like even though for some people eyeliner is not so easy and i struggle with my eyeliner you know to be perfect a lot but uh, we will try to do very I good have a yes hey, baby miyoko even though she's not a baby anymore She's very big. Yeah? You want baby? <laughs> She's like, leave me. Leave me alone. No. Miyoko. No. Okay, so the first thing that I will use today is actually a lash and brow enhancement serum. And this is from a company called Hairburst. And I'm sure you've probably heard of them before because they do sell some really amazing hair vitamins. And they also have a lash and brow serum that comes in this like a mascara type of format. And I usually use it just after my skincare routine, which was a couple of minutes ago. And I apply this on my lashes and also on my brows. And this basically will stimulate the hair growth by just wakening those dormant hair roots that are not activated and I really believe in the power of a good lash serum they do really work for me and especially because I use so much you know false lashes so much makeup on my lashes and I do have very irritated eyes this really helps because it also contains some antioxidants which are anti-inflammatory that's perfect for me and this is also 98% natural using a lot of peptides so no hormones no things like this because usually a lot of lash serums they have hormones in them to stimulate you know the hair growth and I don't like that and since I'm trying also to <laughs> grow my hair and here on my eyebrows and on my lashes because I do have some sparse areas and as I mentioned because of the formula it's also vegan cruelty free a lot of natural ingredients uh, and I never get irritated when using this formula now ideally you will see an improvement in your lashes in your eyebrows within probably like three four weeks for me it takes almost like three weeks to see you know the final results to see you know my lashes a bit more fuller and my brows as well to really just awake those follicles really like the serum really like the company itself uh, you can find it in a lot of shops here in the uk because they're a uk company but they also sell their products you know online so if you have any kind of problems with your lashes with your eyebrows you can definitely check them out. I will link in the description box the link. Now let's use a primer to fill in a little bit my pores around my nose area here. Um, I don't do this necessarily every day or for my you know everyday makeup, but if I'm doing a very like glam face kind of thing, I like to wear it. And this is my Touch and Soul No Pore Blem primer, and you can see that I used quite a lot of this. So I'm definitely a bit surprised by this. And only like in this T zone area. Now, because I want to have that full coverage look to my face, very perfected face, but still a bit glowy. Now, I will use my corrector. This is from Cinema Secrets. It's like an old school kind of corrector. It's that orangey, not orangey, salmony, peachy color. And I use this in this area. Now, of course, this will correct the discoloration that I have, you know, all this pigment, that pigment, but it will not solve my, you know, eye bag thing because this will still remain because I just don't have volume in there. But that brightness will still be there. And I like to work with my finger with this product because, as I mentioned, it's an old school corrector. You need to warm up the product and you need to really just feel it to press it like in your skin so i like to use my finger and then i like to blend everything and also the excess with my beauty blender and as a foundation i will be using my 16 brand foundation this is from the chosunga 22 chain it's a korean brand and i decided to use this one because it's super how to call it? it's very creamy very moisturizing kind of foundation dewy looking and I'm really into these foundations lately. And the concealer will be also a very creamy dewy one. This is the Tide Mayokuya Creaseless Concealer, which is in fact not 
creaseless but I still like the formula uh, if I apply you know just powder on top if I set it it will not crease so that's good and I always say for especially for that um, because I use a bit the baking technique when I'm doing like a full face uh, really full coverage foundation I always like to use more creamy very emollient moisturizing kind of products underneath the powder because otherwise my skin will be just too dry after that technique. You see I'm also applying on my eyelids. This will be my base. Taking my trusty Chico Hodo 5 brush and my Makeup Forever Sculpting palette. Uh, I will be taking this sculpting shade and I don't like to apply you know the brush directly into the palette but I like to scoop a little bit with my spatula and then I like to blend it with a brush to warm up the product a bit. Even though this is quite a creamy product, it's not, for example, like my matchsticks from Fenty Beauty. And then I just like to sculpt cheeks. And I like to apply this a little bit you know, just all over my face. My forehead, on my jawline. And now we can correct this lining here. with, you know, the beauty blender because I have some concealer left. So it's looking really sharp. And now I will apply the Laura Mercier powder. Just a little bit in here and press it just on this area. And now immediately you can see, you know, the difference between these two areas. If I don't do this technique, I will have, you know, the volume in here to be more accentuated, which I don't like, of course. So I like this because it just smooths out everything. Yes, if I do like this, you can still see it, but not as much as, you know, when you have like a dewier product on top. I'm just dusting more powder all over, just set everything. Now moving on to my powder sculpting product. This is the Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder which I haven't used in a while but I still consider this to be you know the gold standard when it comes to sculpting face and I basically just you know apply it on top of my cream for the blush I decided to go with my Ofra blush in Bellini because it's quite neutral and I don't want you know my blush to be super strong uh, because I'm creating that, you know, colorful liner and I'm applying just a little bit on the apples. So I just finished one eye, the eyeliner from one eye. I wanted to create um, like a yellow eyeliner, but then I decided that blue usually goes very well with my skin tone, with my hair color, so this is to go with blue. And the eyeliner that I'm using is an old one from Anastasia Blue Hills. It's in uh, Ice Blue, is the waterproof cream color. This is an old one, so I keep um, just disinfecting it all the time. But I'm using a little bit of ink blot to mix with this, so it's a bit more, you know, creamy emollient. We'll do the same eyeliner as for the other eye. I'm applying two layers, this way the color is a bit more opaque and the brush that I'm using is a Hakuhodo brush, the classic eyeliner brush. I've had this, I don't know, for how many years now. Now the wing. Now I will just add a little bit of mascara, my 16 the brand black mascara, which I really like actually. And after, I will just apply some blush. Now I decided to do something a little bit more fun underneath my eyes, so I will use this blue color from the Visart palette, the Brights, Editorial Brights. And I will place this in here. And I also added a bit of this violet here because I wanted um, this to be darker. So I mixed actually these two 
to create this darker blue color. Now for the inner corner I will go with a bit of white to lighten this area like an ombre effect in a way. Now I'm adding just a little bit of mascara on my lashes because I will use some other colors on top of them. And now adding inside a little bit of this Makeup Forever eyeliner. And then this darker blue one as a continuation again to have the same ombre effect. And now using my Makeup Forever cream paint I'm adding this to my lashes again in the same dark blue area. Now using my Aqua XL eyeliner for this pale blue color. Now because we have this really fun makeup and accent will be definitely on the eyes, I would use just a nude lip pencil on my lips. And I'm using this one from Maybelline. This is their color sensational shaving lip liner in nude whisper. Now the last thing, the highlighter, the Ambrosi and Asip of the Hills collaboration. 